about how to not eat during your fasting window. Now, the best advice I ever got about intermittent fasting, how to be successful with it, it came from Martin Burkhan's blog, and he said, don't sit around and brood about food. And I took that advice to heart, and it really helped me in the beginning, because the beginning of intermittent fasting is the hardest part. When you're learning how to simply not eat during your fasting window, it is a difficult thing because you're so used to eating. Whenever you feel hungry, you just eat. That's just what you do as a human being. So to try to kind of break that pattern is a, a weird thing to do, and it's a difficult thing to do. And I want to caution you here that it's really hard to not do something. So like if you say, I, I just need to not think about eating, or I just need to not eat during this time, it's going to be hard. Like it's going to be hard to just sit there and not eat. But if you instead focus on doing something. So like, instead of saying, I'm going to try to not eat right now, I just tell myself I'm going to focus on staying busy. And so what I did in the early days was I just stayed busy by, uh, cleaning my house and, and walking, like getting steps on my Fitbit. And that worked, you know, in, in the early days, especially it just, I needed something to do and that, that was okay. But after a while that gets boring, you know, your house can only get so clean and you can only take so many steps before you're tired. And then if your fasting window is still going on, you have a problem. So I started just figuring out different ways to keep myself busy during that time. So I started reading more because I love to read. And then I started learning American Sign Language. And that worked great because it was helping me learn something. And then I was also using my hands. So I wasn't really able to think about food because I was too busy learning. So that really helped. And, I, you know, in the middle of all this, I, I had uh, three small children and uh, who I'm still raising. But at that time, they required a lot more of my attention. So I just focused on giving them my attention. And during this time, I was working and I started to see that I could really be productive during my fasting window. I could get a lot of work done. And a lot of the things that I thought I didn't have time for in my life, I did now have time for because I was using my fasting window to do those things. And this was good because, you know, as, as my fasting window got longer and longer, I needed more things to do to kind of fill up the time. Now, all that being said, uh, that doesn't mean that I never felt hungry because a lot of times I did feel hungry, even though I was keeping myself busy. And what really helped me was to start observing myself. And, and instead of just saying, well, I'm hungry, I didn't eat enough, so therefore I should, I should eat, I would pause and I would, I would start to notice a few things. The first thing I started to notice was that my hunger, a lot of times, especially in the beginning, would hit at certain times. And, uh, you know, and unsurprisingly, really, it happened during those times I would have normally eaten during the day. So for example, like uh, right at breakfast, right upon waking up, uh, usually like around 10.30 or 11, uh, and then again in the afternoon. And so, you know, kind of depending on where my, my fasting window started, I started to see like, okay, I need to kind of plan out my coffees a little bit so that I would have my coffee with half and half at those times where I was starting to feel hungry. And my coffee really did help me to get through the fasting window, just kind of like take the edge off the hunger and I could get back to doing what I was doing. Another thing that I found that really helped, and I don't do this anymore because I just don't feel the need to, but um, when I was first learning how to fast, I would find myself craving certain things. And uh, so I started writing those things down and I would let myself have them in the eating window. So, you know, like if uh, during my fasting window, I saw, you know, like uh, ice cream or something, I thought, oh, I'd really love some ice cream. I would say, okay, I'll have some in my eating window. And then that made fasting feel a lot easier because it wasn't like I was saying I could not have that ever. It was just, I have to wait, you know, a couple hours before I can eat that. Another thing that helped was I, I started to see that if I watched like live TV that had a lot of commercials, uh, I usually felt hungry. And I think there was a couple of reasons for this. One was I kind of had this ingrained habit of eating in front of the television. So, you know, when I would sit down, my body kind of said, okay, this is the time we eat. So uh, that was bad. But then also all the commercials that make so many foods look really, really delicious, it just made it harder to fast. So I just said, I'm just not going to watch TV uh, during my fasting time. And that really helped. But now there were still times that even if I was staying busy and even if I had, you know, had my coffee and it was just kind of helping stave off the hunger pains, there were times where I would still feel the urge to just eat. I would just think, I just need to eat something right now. And what I found, uh, 
through a lot of just observation of myself was that I was upset usually about something. I was either stressed out. Sometimes I was just bored, but but usually, you know, keeping myself busy kind of took care of that. But a lot of times it was stress or just feeling, you know, nervous about something. So I started to realize, you know, I had two choices. I could either eat like I would have normally done, or I could just not eat, just refuse to eat and try to figure out the situation. And it's difficult to to make that choice to say, I'm not going to eat right now. I'm going to deal with this thing that's bugging me, which sometimes usually, well, actually, it usually meant having some sort of either uh, uncomfortable conversation with somebody about something or doing an uncomfortable thing. And so um, I learned to just start to do that, just do the uncomfortable thing, which is, you know, take action. And the added benefit of that was my stress levels kind of just started to naturally go down because I was, instead of, you know, procrastinating on things and, and not doing what I needed to do, I was doing those things. And so there was less to be stressed about. So through the entire time, I've just kind of structured my life so that it makes it easy to fast. And, uh, you know, and it, this has looked differently, uh, depending on, you know, what my goals are at the time, you know, like when I was losing weight, it was different than my first maintenance period, uh, which was then different than my second period of weight loss, which is then even different than uh, my current maintenance period. But I do always try to keep in mind, even even on days where I'm not doing OMAD, if I'm just, you know, eating a, a, like a normal kind of day, I do still uh, try to keep myself aware of my tendency to want to eat, to procrastinate or out of, you know, stress and things like that, because it's a very well ingrained habit with me and I, and I stay on guard for that. So nowadays I am just maintaining my weight loss. So that looks a little bit different than, you know, when I was trying to lose. So it's a little bit more loosey goosey, but in general, I do try to think about my days as far as not letting food become a thing that I use to procrastinate with. So I wake up, I have my coffee with half and half, and I'll sit there and uh, read my Bible and do my journal. And then I will uh, write 2000, 2000 words. And then after that, I will look at my day and see what else I want to get accomplished for that day. And so nowadays, you know, if I'm feeling hungry, I, I will eat, but I am very careful not to just eat because I'm procrastinating. That's my overarching kind of uh, rule for myself right now. And so another thing that I've learned, especially in the past, I would say year or so, is the importance of learning also how to rest during your fasting window. Like in the beginning, I was just focused on, okay, got to stay busy, got to stay busy, got to like not think about food. But over time, I've learned it's important to learn how to just be and not need to like be busy and not need to eat to just be able to sit still and enjoy life. But that has taken a lot of time and a lot of practice. So if you have had trouble with not eating during your fasting window, I hope this video will give you some ideas of things you can try to be more consistent with it. And just remember, this is a process. It takes a lot of practice. Eating is just a very well ingrained habit and it takes a lot of practice to, to get yourself to eat in a different kind of way. So just be patient with yourself and work on improving a little bit each day. Thank you for watching. And if you have a video topic you'd like to request, you can visit the link in the video description to submit it on my website.